Hi you guys and welcome to Yoga with Esther. Today we're going to be doing um, a special episode in my studio. So it's I'm not like locked in a basement somewhere. This is just art studio lighting. <laughs> it's just nighttime. Um, my circadian rhythms are all messed up because I just got back from Tokyo and I wanted to do a uh, yoga video to help ease with plain discomfort. That's it. So it's going to be a short and sweet video just dealing with plain discomfort. You may look a little stupid on the airplane doing some of these exercises, but everyone looks stupid on an airplane. So hopefully everyone has their eye masks on and whatever. You're never going to see these people again. So let's get started taking care of a few different scenarios that can happen on an airplane. First one is anxiety. Um, anxiety about traveling. Traveling is really stressful sometimes, for me at least. So let's start with our deep breathing. I want you to first, well, I keep saying first, but I want you to center your body. So try to get in a, a fitting position. You may be a little cramped, but I at least want you to try to keep your core tight. Your elbows may be locked in. I want you to try to relax your shoulders, okay? Don't pay attention to the people around you unless they're like elbowing you. <laughs> okay, so breathing. We're gonna breathe in for three, hold for one, and exhale for five. It's gonna be slow breath, and we're gonna extend our exhales. Just trying to be mindful of our body, stay in the present, not think about anything that may happen or that has happened. So start by exhaling everything out of your mouth. <sighs> Inhale for one, two, three. Chin comes to chest, hold for one. And exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale for one, two, three, relax the shoulders, hold, exhale for one, two, three, four, five. One more time, inhale for one, two, three, hold, exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Keep that breath up during this whole exercise. It's really important that we keep that mind-body connection and we stay in the present so we don't get anxious, nervous, and we can actually reap a little bit of the benefits of yoga while sitting in this cramped, just erratic tube that's floating through the sky. Shoulders relaxed. <laughs> Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders down your back even more. Inhale. And exhale. I want you to close your eyes and just visualize this like translucent bubble around you. And it can be as mm, any shape you want, but mine's kind of in a rectangular spherical form. So there's nothing around you. It's soundproof. Open your eyes and exhale. Let's grab our knees and work on those backs. Inhale, cat cow. Chest comes towards me. Open that chest up. Exhale, spine goes towards the back seat. You may need to scoot up a little bit in your chair for this. Inhale. And exhale. You may not be able to grab onto your knees. That's okay. Hands can come to thighs. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take a few more. Inhale, chest comes towards me. Exhale, crunch. So I want you to actually get those abdominal muscles working. 
Inhale. And exhale, getting rid of some of that maybe trapped gas that we get on the plane. <laughs> okay, so let's keep breathing. I want you to take about three breaths, rolling those shoulders back for three, two, one, and forwards for three, two, one, and we're gonna bring our chin to our chest and just kind of let your neck hang here for a few seconds. Notice if the back of your neck is tense. Um, this usually happens when traveling, especially <clears throat> if you've just woken up from a long nap and your whole body hurts. And I want you to just take a deep inhale Send that breath to the back of your neck and you can even just come down a little bit more. And gently roll all the way up. So we're just assessing the damage right now. I want you to take a deep inhale and literally stretch your left hand above your head. And I don't care if it looks like you're calling a flight attendant, you, it's gonna make you feel better. Inhale, stretch it up, reach. Exhale, just lean gently over towards the right side. Inhale, feel that whole left side of your body stretch. And exhale. One more time. And release, come down. Let's do the other side, right arm comes up. Take a deep breath, stretch, reach tall, tall, tall. Exhale, over. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And have it come down. Let's inhale both of our hands up. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms towards the ceiling. Look at your fingertips and exhale, press those palms towards me. And you may not see, I have a nice, it's not even nice, it's just a curve in my spine. I'm stretching out the backs of my shoulder blades and opening up my back, even though I don't know what opening up your back means. I'm just freaking stretching because it feels good. So we're right here, we're breathing, we're breathing. Inhale, hands come up, look at your fingertips. Bring those palms behind your head and we're gonna do our little uh, back of the arm stretch. So with my, hi kitty. So with my um, hands, they're interlocked and I'm literally cradling my head. And by cradling, I mean, I'm just using it as like a basket, like it's holding my head. This takes some of the pressure off of my spine. That's my cat. It also just gives me a nice stretch. Okay, this is gonna look a little weird, but if you're completely jet lagged and just feeling like crap, it feels really good. Bless you. My cat's sneezing. So I want you to look up, and by looking up, I mean with your whole head. I want you to bring the back of your head to the back of your neck. You may not be here, that's okay. And I want you to move your eyes towards the top of your head like this. So you're stick your tongue out. Come back. Again. And come back. <laughs> and it should brighten things up just a little bit for you. So let's work a little bit more on our backs. And then we're going to move to our legs and hips. So let's just come into a really simple twist. We're not gonna have room to move around, so let's literally just bring our left hand outside of our right thigh, right hand behind you. Suck that belly in and twist. Grab hold of whatever you can grab hold of back there. Breathe for three, two, one. Look towards me, other side. For three, two, 
one, and release. Good job. Let's do some more cat cows because, yeah, this just kills you. Inhale, chest towards me. Exhale, spine towards back wall. Get those little crunches in. Inhale. And exhale. This time we're going to twist, but we're going to cross our legs. So any leg you want. I'm crossing my left leg over my right. Bring your right hand outside of your left thigh. Left hand comes behind you for a twist. Now, you can grab your knee and almost pick it up a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm doing from the side. So I'm getting a really, uh, it's not a knot. I mean, it's, it's what you can do on a plane. I'm getting an adequate stretch in uh, my hip. Hopefully in my leg, you can move it around a little bit, get some organic movement. And release, hopefully you're breathing. You can take that same leg and just do some like leg circles. You know, try to stay in your little bubble if you can. And let's go to the other side. So we were on the last side for about three breaths and you can kind of hook your hand underneath your knee as you twist to make it a more powerful stretch. About two more breaths. And release. And I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so you guys can see my toes. So scoot back in your chair just a smidge. Um, and just come up on your toes. And as you do this, I want you to engage your thigh, your glute muscles. Come back down, again, up, and down, one more time, and down. Okay, so we're gonna try to go into a figure four stretch. If you don't have enough room for this, you can always hook that ankle underneath, I'll scoot up in your chair, hook that ankle underneath the back of your other ankle like I'm doing, like so, and just let your hip kind of flow free. But if you have enough room, this is such a nice stretch to just open up that hip and release a little tension. I want you to take a deep inhale. Send your breath to your right hip, and as you exhale, let go of any resistance you're holding on to. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna take one more breath. And as you notice, I'm pressing my knee down just to get a little bit more action in there. We're gonna take one more breath and then I want you to take both of your hands, still in the same position, and just give your foot a nice little massage. Because walking in airports is the worst. So if you see my foot, I'm trying to get this part and this part and this part. Now, if you have a headache, I advise you, some people get headaches while traveling, to bring your forefinger and your thumb in between your big toe and your second toe and press. And that should help just alleviate some of the tension in your headache, but massage that foot. Just get in there. Okay, other side. As I like, like, <laughs> touch my feet and then wipe my face. I don't care. Okay, so remember we can do the figure four or we can do the wrap around, whatever feels good to you. Inhale, send that breath to your hip. Exhale, let go of that resistance. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, and while we're here, we're just gonna give our foot a little massage. You can spend as much time here as you want, of course. And release, come up on your tippy toes, rock your knees from side to side. So if you're having trouble sleeping on a plane, which most people, I don't know, a lot of people do. Um, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks. The first one is um, cover your face, <laughs> like cover your face with a blanket. Uh, the next one is try and meditate. 
if you're with somebody, like a partner, a friend, you can even meditate with them by even holding their hand and setting a timer on your phone and annoying everyone else. No, you can set it on like vibrate or something. And it can give you a sense of connection when the whole airplane and the whole traveling situation seems, seems very disconnected. Um, you can even hold your own hand. Um, but I invite you now to close your eyes and just start breathing. There's a lot of noise everywhere. I want you to acknowledge the noise and let it go. So as you're breathing, you're acknowledging that noise and you're letting it go. You can acknowledge the fear and you can let it go. And how a simpler way to do this is say you hear um, the, the landing gear under the plane. Um, you know, it makes that noise. If you're in a meditative state, what I like to do is, you know, say noise, noise. I repeat that in my head, noise, noise, or landing gear, landing gear. And then I just let it go. So say you smell a fart, some me farted, and it's distracting your meditation. Fart, fart in your head, let it go, if that makes sense. Another way is to, um, if your eyes are closed, to kind of mimic the REM sleep patterns. So eyes are closed. You can move your eyes up and down very slowly, mimicking the REM sleep pattern. That can help relax you into a calmer state or a more meditative state. Um, melatonin works, Ambien works, if it's prescribed to you. <laughs> But what I want you to focus on is your breath. So if you are nervous, keep repeating that breath we did at the beginning. Keep repeating any breath that you can count because what it's gonna do is it's gonna have you be slightly centered for even a moment. And in that moment, if you are slightly centered, it can literally change your whole traveling experience. Also, and I know I'm talking a lot, but what else are you gonna do? When you're meditating, um, it's not about the actual moments where your mind is like blank and you clear from thought. Because thoughts are gonna enter your head. You know, emotions are gonna fill you up. But when you're meditating, your eyes are closed, your thoughts are clear and something pops into your head. And what you do is you forcefully take those thoughts and you push them away. And in that moment where you are thinking, when you are forcefully taking those thoughts and pushing them away, therein lies the meditation because you are training your brain to control its thinking patterns. So it's a nice way, I mean, especially under such a stressful situation where you're on an airplane, to practice these kind of beautiful practice, oh my gosh, I keep saying practice, these beautiful eloquences in yoga. Um, anyway, so that's my spiel. I just woke up from a 48 hour nap. <laughs> so get some sleep. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, my name is Esther Tell, and thank you for joining me today. Um, if your name is Abe, I need for you to stretch because I know you just hiked the Great Wall of China. So stretch and thank you.